Okay, this is James Arthur's Impossible, which is recorded some time ago by somebody else. I have a chord chart that I'm playing off here, but if anybody wants, you're welcome to. You'll put my email address at the bottom of all this. So if you want the chord chart, just send me a message and I'll email it to you. Um, the music, the notes are available for this too on a site called musicnotes.com. It's not exactly how James Arthur does it, but it's close enough. The, I know the music in that I think is in F minor, he does it in C minor, it's kind of in C minor, it uses the chords of E flat major, um, it's not really in C minor but it's kind of around the tonality of C minor so it starts and ends in C minor so you can argue among yourselves what key it's actually in. Um, the main thing about this is the melody, um, so it's trying to thumb your way around the melody in C minor, so it starts on a G. what it is. That's B flat and down to A flat. So the melody again. Repeats that round and then it gets to this we sort of section that builds up that I call it a pre-chorus before the chorus. So we need to add the chord, and then that kind of repeats itself around different forms. We need to add the chord to that, so we're in C minor, E flat major. I'm just playing the piece, don't really have to add the G flat, the B flat, A flat. It repeats that round in the B chorus is an F minor. I'm playing an F minor 7 on the G minor. This is an A flat with a major 7 on it in, which is the G in an A flat chord. sure about your chords, send me an email as well and I'll send you a list of all the chords, the sort of formations of the notes and things. Um, and then it gets into the chords, which repeats around the same chords. You've got a C minor, an E flat, a B flat, and an A flat. And that repeats around the chords until you get the impossible bit, which is again C minor, E flat, A flat, E, B flat, sorry, and an A flat. Now, what we need to be able to do with the music is to build it up in the way that it does actually itself. For instance, at the very start, the way the introduction comes, you just get a sustained C minor chord, and then he comes in. So I want to do much on the piano until actually the drums and everything else comes in in the second verse. So I'm going to keep it fairly down, and then build it up. He starts screaming the way James Arthur does towards the um, the second chorus, brings it down for the third verse, which is only like we half a verse, and then brings it back up again to finish the song. So here's my interpretation of it. It is only an interpretation. But, and as I say, if you need any help at all, the email address is there, send me a message. And you have a call.
It's only my interpretation, but happy playing. <laughs>